If there was ever a bridge between art and functionality, it would be this one, Barbara Walker Crossing. Public art uh, it is emblematic of the aspirations and the values of a city. Public artist Ed Carpenter designed the footbridge. It connects the 30-mile Wildwood Trail over West Burnside. 18,000 cars use that stretch every day. As it was incredibly dangerous. I was uh, a lifelong trail runner and I had been a survivor of that crossing myself over many of those years. Last year, the bridge came to life. The majority of its $4 million price tag raised by hundreds of individual donors. The Portland Parks Foundation led the effort. Against all odds, I mean, it was a very, you know, it was one of those projects that fell between the bureaucratic cracks. Parks Foundation Executive Director Randy Gregg. It has a, a kind of just an elegance and a, a minimalism, and it's such a gesture, um, you know, uh, of a, a, a kind of enhanced experience of the trail, but it doesn't overshadow it in any way. All reasons why the Barbara Walker Crossing is up for one of the design industry's most prestigious honors, the CODA Award. The bridge is among 100 public art installations from around the world chosen by CodaWorks, an online global design platform. I call it the LinkedIn of the commissioned art world. To be voted on by the public. Barbara Walker Crossing is in the top 10. These are the kinds of artworks that actually change spaces. It can take a dark and dangerous space and turn it into a magical space. CodaWorks CEO Tony Sykes says the winners will be announced in Interior Design Magazine in August. The public can vote on their favorites through June 30th. Last year's winners hailed from Asia and Amsterdam. It is a uh, validation for Portland and for the citizens of Portland. A city truly connected by art. Yeah, well, we, everybody needs some good news. In Portland. Let's win this thing and celebrate. Catherine Cook, KGW News.